It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we have a beer from the Garden Brewery in Croatia and it's a can of their flat white coffee porter coming in at 5.5% ABV in a 330 milliliter can. There's a look at the can wrap. Without further ado, let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Ooh. Bit of a wild opening there, but there we go. Beer in the glass. The, the problem when you have a wild opening like that is you almost have to throw the beer in the glass from that point and then that creates a great big head. So what I suggest you do is just stop. Just slow it all down for just a few seconds. Let the beer calm down a bit and then... There you go. The temptation is just to glug it all into the glass and then you have a massive head and you end up getting really frustrated. But I generally open all my beers up over the sink so if there is any spillage then it makes its way into the, into the sink anyway. And the back of my hand just cleaned up nice and easy. So no problems there. But yeah, just be a little a bit aware that it's a bit of a, not a lively opening, but they've just overfilled my can a little bit. Right. I'm really looking forward to this one. Garden Brewery produced some fantastic beers. Um, I can smell this beer from here. Got a fantastic aroma to it but I want to talk about the beer first we've got a one finger tan coloured head it's a jet black beer in the glass good levels of carbonation let's get the aroma now that smells amazing a mixture of coffee sweetness and coconut and some vanilla brilliant brilliant aroma but I'm just going to stop for a second and say this beer was kindly sent to us by beer52.com um, if you go in the description box of our video and if you click on the link to beer52's website that will take you to an area where you can get a free box of beer on us so hit the subscribe the subscription button on beer52's website put in make sure you put in though the the discount code and the discount code is Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows will get you your fr first free box of beer at Beer 52, courtesy of us at Real Ale Craft Beer. And then, of course, I say, of course, what you need to do then is just pay the five pound delivery charge. So you're just paying five pound for the delivery of the beer to be sent to you, and you get a box of beer sent to your door every month as part of a subscription but the benefit of that subscription is you don't know what's coming every month you get a new beer a new magazine and some really nice snacks I just had some chickpea snacks out of the box which were amazing absolutely fantastic And if you're like me, if you're currently doing 10, 12 hour days, you may not have time to search on breweries' websites for, for beers and, and different things. And, and, and you just want to go in the fridge, get something nice, because the beers are nice from Beer 52, and sit back and relax and, and not have to worry about where, you know, finding the beer and, and searching for the beer on different websites and different breweries website it all comes through beer 52 uh, just a monthly fee you pay for the beer so i'm going to try i'm desperate to get into this beer now so i'm going to dive into this one cheers everybody That's good. Oh, ho, ho, that's really good. Chocolate, coffee, caramel, touch of coconut, touch of, touch of toasted, toasted brown baguette. Mm. 
a little bit of carbonation that pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. Nice creamy mouthfeel for it for 5.5% ABV. Chocolate coffee caramel flavours. The mouthfeel is incredible. Absolutely incredible mouthfeel. And if I rock the beer back and forth, you can see that carbonation chasing the head of the glass. It looks great. I like the fact you got like a, it's sort of like a creamy kind of milkshakey mouthfeel, but it's got that chocolate. If you think of bitter dark chocolate, you get it in your mouth and it melts in your mouth. You've got that kind of lovely kind of velvety chocolate flavour. And mouthfeel, importantly mouthfeel. Same as a, if you go to a nice kind of coffee house and you get a big tall latte, milky latte, you think that and a creamy milkiness that comes through. That coffee as well, the flavour. It it kind of translates into this beer because the beer's got a great mouthfeel and it tastes of coffee. And again, if you sweet, think of a little bit of sweet caramel, that lovely little sweet caramel flavour that you get in beer. And you think of like the, the, the toffee hammer. Remember the little hammers you get with a bar of... Um, toffee and you start to break it up into pieces that similar kind of sweet toffee consistency in the beer as well because it was always sticky in the mouth a beautiful beer a little bit of raisin plum and prune from the hops that they've added to the beer dark fruit flavors it's a good quality beer it really is a good quality beer look at that I've never, never, in, in all the time I've been reviewing beers from the Garden Brewery, which has been for years now, I've never had a bad beer from them. Never had a bad beer. So I'm going to rate it. Uh, here's the ingredients. Malt, pale, caramel, crystal, T50, dark crystal, chocolate, black malt, golden naked oats, hops, uh, Columbus hops. Um, the yeast is... A Y four, and the adjuncts are blend out, blackout blend, cognito coffee. So there's a little bit of coffee in here as well, which is really cool. Um, I like that. I really like that. I like that enough to give it. For me, this it, it it's a fantastic for that ABV, that five point five percent ABV. It's fantastic. There's nothing I can take away from that beer. So when there's nothing I can take away from that beer, all I'm going to say is. 10 out of 10, Stone the Crows, 10 out of 10. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.